Hey guys, this is Charles with Charlotte Area Historical Gamers, and today we're going to take a look at the campaign book from Days of Wonder for Memoir 44. And what this does is connect several scenarios together to make a big game of five, five or so scenarios. And then you can connect multiple uh, campaigns together to make a grand campaign. So first we'll take a look at the uh, first campaign called the Battle for Normandy, and then we'll see how they're all linked together for the grand campaign. Um, each player, either the Allies or the Axis, will have their own flowchart and things happening on here. Uh, you've got the Allies over here, and they will start with three reserve tokens. And the Axis starts with one token. So what the reserve tokens do is, before each game, you get to do a reserve roll. You roll two dice, and then you look at a chart and see whatever you rolled is something that you can bring into the game um, on your board or in the reserve area. And uh, you can purchase those or not if you decide to with your reserve tokens. Um, you'll play the first scenario, and then after you're done, you'll write down how many points that you got as the allies and how many points that the Axis player got. And the Axis player does the same thing over here. So if the allies win, you just follow these uh, little notes here, and you'll go into the second scenario, which is cap capturing the crossing. So again, you'll, uh, you'll do your victory event rolls from the previous game. So if you know, you won, there's, uh, you get an extra die. If you didn't, you still get two dice. And you roll the dice, and you see how you can use your victory from the previous game to affect the game that's about to happen. You also do a reserve token roll, or a reserve roll, and decide if you want to spend the token to buy whatever you rolled. And you'll play the scenario, record your um, medals, record your objectives, and then follow the flowchart. Uh, you'll notice that uh, this is a little bit special because... Uh, Sometimes you have special rules, like in this one, if you capture the crossing objective, ignore any tank tanks rolled in the next, next Axis Victory events roll. So we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. So you go through all of these, and then after you're done, you will track your total medals, your total objectives, and your total victory point, and compare those two if you just want to play the single uh, campaign. Each scenario is just like Memoir 44 regular scenarios. Uh, with the layout and the board, the historical conditions. And so before you play, before you set up, you collect your reserve tokens for the whole campaign. You will set up the scenario according to the notes, and then you do your reserve roll, which is uh, roll two battle dice and see what uh, reserves you receive. Remember any victory bonuses from the previous scenario. So this is only on the second turn that you really have to do the victory bonuses. You decide if you want to deploy them on the board or in the reserve uh, in the staging area. And then you play the scenario, draw, draw your command cards, and then play the scenarios. So uh, afterwards, the winner can withdraw reserve tokens or units from the staging area back to the strategic reserve pool. Uh, vanquished player loses reserve tokens from staging area. So if you win the scenario, you get to keep your reserves. If you don't, you don't get to keep them your bookkeeping, etc. All right, so after that, you'll do the setup in the scenario, and then you'll do the victory um, events roll. So the victory events is basically a way to, um, to uh, have results from the previous battle affect this scenario. So in addition to getting reserves, you can also have things like um, units die, uh, units have to retreat, different things like that. Um, then you do your reserve roll for the next scenario, which will be this one. And you just go down the list. So after you connect all these together, you've got all these tallied up, and um, then you do your final score. All right. So this little PDF is free on the Memoir 44 site under the Campaign Book 1 um, tab. And you just download this and print it out, and it makes it easy to understand the reserve rolls. So you roll your two dice. And then if you roll an infantry symbol, you get an infantry. If you get a tank, you get to choose a tank. You exchange your reserve tank, uh, token for an armor unit. Grenades are wild, so if you roll this symbol, you may choose to exchange any res a reserve token for an infantry unit, armor, or artillery. And if you roll a star, you may uh, be upgraded to elite status. Uh, each flag gives you one unit of your choice, a defensive sandbag. So. In my case, I rolled a infantry and a flag, and I could have put an infantry in reserve and taken that defensive sandbag and put it on any unit on the board. 
If you roll double stars during your reserve roll, you may use this, use this to call up an elite tank or infantry unit of your choice at no reserve token cost. So that's pretty cool. Now, uh, there's also a rule here for air pack. Uh, you may use the two stars to receive an air sortie or an air power token at no top cost. So here's some of the combinations that you can do in uh, Campaign Book Volume 2. We've got the island hoppers. We've got uh, different things here. Break through Normandy, all of Poland. And here's your victory event roll results. So um, it's the end of the game, and you uh, won or lost the scenario. If you won, you get an extra die. So typically you roll two dice plus one die for each battle, one up to this point. So if you roll an infantry, your opponent must remove one infantry from a figure of his choice. You roll a tank, it's very similar, except on the tanks. If uh, you roll a star, you reduce the number of command cards held by your opponent at the beginning of the game by one. His starting hand will always be at least one card. So if you won four games, you're going to take that guy down to one. It's, it's pretty neat. Uh, if you roll a flag, your opponent must retreat one of its units, his choice. And if it's a grenade, you can choose which of, uh, a figure can be removed from a full strength unit. So it's not the whole unit, it's just one figure. Things like that. There's what if scenarios you can do. Um, bicycle Blitzkrieg, what ifs, Fall of Poland, right through Normandy. Alright, so let's take a look at the Grand Campaign, which I haven't played yet, but just kind of looked at, and hopefully we'll get along with it. So now with the Grand Campaign, you're going to take the several campaigns and connect them together. So after you play the first campaign, which is uh, Flanking Khan, uh, the breakout, early fallet, uh, fallet, and after you play those and you determine who the victor is, you're going to look at this uh, point chart here of a campaign tie, a minor victory, and a major victory. Uh, once completed, add up all the grand campaign points, and the player with the most grand campaign points wins. Both players are tied, add up all the campaign scores. So you can also do um, optional what-if rules, so afterwards you can say, uh, you want to do this, if both players agree, you both roll a die. And if you, uh, you roll these, any of these symbols, uh, you will get the options of these types of units coming into the game if you like. So there's combat engineers, and this is just for your reserve rolls. So if you roll an infantry, you can bring in a combat engineer, or uh, you can bring, if you roll a tank, you can bring in a, a Panzer Shrek or a Tiger, uh, Allied Air Supremacy, cop Camouflage, Lots of fun stuff. And then you'll continue on the next uh, Grand Campaign series of uh, game. And I apologize, the um, the what if rule happens after you've played two of the campaigns and before you start your third one. So for $15 for a PDF, you print it out, you get all the scenarios, extra scenarios, you can play individually if you like, you can play the whole campaign. It's, it's a lot of fun and a very cool way to think about the battles and how they're all connected together, which is uh, something I've always enjoyed kind of doing the research for. I've always kind of uh, tried to use Wiki and YouTube to try to do some research on a, a scenario when I'm playing it. But this is really nice kind of seeing the overall uh, progression of units or defense as you uh, go across the game, across the map, and a lot of fun. So I hope you buy it. I hope you have a good time, and thank you very much for watching. Take care.